I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Hernando Cortez. Take three fingers in the center underneath, let's put a dot. And from that dot going towards the right, we're just going to draw a straight line, curve line down, curve line over, and leave it floating. We come back to the dot and we're going to draw straight line over, curve line up, curve line up, curve line up, wavy line, curve line out, straight line down, connect. Come over here on the left. We're just going to draw a straight line down, curve line out. Come inside, we're going to draw one curve line on the left, one curve line on the right. Come back to the left, draw a curve line up, back, connect. On the left, curve line out, back, connect on the right. Come inside and draw one little curve line on the left, one little curve line on the right. Come right here in the center, straight diagonal, curve line, curve line up, and leave it floating. Right underneath, we're going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line down, curve line, curve line up, connect. Come over here. On the right, we're going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line down, curve line, curve line up, connect. Right here in the center, we're just going to draw a curve line up, down, up, down, connect, slightly curved line. Come back up here on the left, we're just going to draw a slightly curved line out, down, connect. Come over here on the right. We're going to draw a curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, and leave it floating. Come back over here on the left, and we're just going to draw a curve line down, 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 up, 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 connect. Come on the left, curve line down off the page. Come on the right, curve line down off the page. I think that's all. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take my black. There's a lot of black on this. And I'm going to color in this space all black. Bring it all the way up, out, up, keep going down, over, up, over, fill it all in. You'll do a way better job than I am. But there's a lot of black. He's wearing a black hat and he's wearing a black suit basically. A lot of black. Okay. Then come down to his eyebrows and just do up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down with your black to give them a little bushy look. Do the left, come over, and do the right. Then come all the way down here, and this is all black again. Lots of black. And like I always say, if you're doing it so hard, coloring so hard your hand hurts, you're definitely doing, doing it way too hard. What you can do is do a light coat and then come back over and do a double coat to make it darker. Okay. Then, if you have multicultural crayons, you could color in his face, this face. If you don't, 
you can just color it maybe lightly with your brown or hello just leave it alone okay it's fun to do this sometimes with the color just because it's so bland we're going to give him brown eyes and if you add gray he's got some major gray hair beard mustache I'm sorry and beard this is all gray white collar and again if you have multicultural crayons you can do this space now what I did is I looked through my crayons and I said hey what color do I never use and I found my red violet so I'm just gonna do some straight lines just to give them some color in the background so for fun I would suggest you do the same look through your crayons think to yourself which one don't I ever use and use that color as your background which you can do with straight lines and then loop-de-loop -loop over to give yourself a solid background with a little bit of texture Hernando Cortez let's see what he looks like all colored in okay here is Hernando Cortez all colored in ready to go exploring Okay, bye-bye.